talking about emotions and mind how it plays in the markets momentum investing the strategy that you follow is kind of counter intuitive right you buy high and then sell higher is what i have heard about momentum yeah yeah, yeah. which is quite it doesn't come intuitively right because value investing till now all we've heard about is you buy cheap stocks and then sell it at a higher price that's what we've heard so how does momentum strategy work can you explain it to me like i'm like a 12 year old yeah yeah so even 5 year olds can very easily understand it because it is very very simple okay uh, one thing one caveat is there that uh, what is simple may not be easy so what you're saying is absolutely right that it is counter intuitive so for instance we all know that if we go in the morning and jog for 5 kilometers every day we will be very healthy right yeah. i mean we will be very fit it is very it's a it's a simple exercise it's a simple thought but is it easy to do no it is not right so similarly to to detach your mind from what you're doing is something that is you know a simple thought but it is not easy to do so in momentum investing Uh, as you rightly said we buy when stocks are already you know hitting highs or or have moved up mm. and the underlying theme is that what is moving like if you see in the newton's law that if a body is in motion it continues to be in the motion until an external force is applied on it so the here also the stocks that start to move are actually telling you that they are they are moving and they want to move further it is our it is our uh, you know shortcoming that we decide that if a stock has gone from 50 to 100 that we want to stop it there you should allow that winner to run you don't know that stock may go from 50 to 100 to 1000 okay right so so essentially this buy low sell high thought which is for conventional buying you know i mean you want to buy something from amazon that is fine that you know you're trying to find the cheapest uh, thing here but in stock markets Uh, in my in our uh, sort of thesis, uh, we follow the BBC principle, the Bhav Bhagwan Che. This is a Gujarati oh. saying, which yeah. essentially means that price is God. So mm-hmm. the price today of any stock is is already you know uh, it is already discounting all the factors around it. So whether a company is doing well, whether you know people are buying this stock. what is the future of this company is already kind of discounted in the price today mm. so when we look at in value investing for instance last 3 months result you know we look at quarterly result or annual result that result is actually of the past mm. you yes. know it is a rear view rear view mirror driving position that mm. oh, oh the company did so well in the last 3 months and hence it will do well in the future we are extrapolating that okay okay right whereas uh you would have noticed that after a great set of results many stocks may fall you know they've already run up yeah. or or if there's some bad news in the company uh the stock is already falling we don't know why it's falling and then the news comes out that you know this result was bad or or this top manager has moved out or they've lost this uh, this uh, deal mm. so market always moves ahead of uh, you know before the news is out for the common man okay and hence uh you have to believe in the price move the price is actually telling you what is the what is the truth of that particular moment and uh, and and i and in my thought process uh, you know while value and uh, growth style of investing fundamental style of investing is fine uh but every stock even if you identified value needs to move before you will make money right when I mean, you identified let's say some company at 100 rupees it has lot of value in it mm. but how will you make money out of it only when it starts to move right, right. and when it starts to move the momentum uh, filters will pick that so without momentum nothing can make money right i mean mm. and and momentum is sort of pervasive it is uh, not just uh, you know momentum investing based on price but even in when you're doing growth investing value based in you are looking for momentum in earnings you are looking for momentum in market share yeah. it is or you are looking for momentum in some kind of margins mm. improvement so you are looking at momentum actually in everything momentum is per- pervasive it's just that momentum investing has has sort of a bad name in the sense that you know people say oh you are just following price uh, see from a fund manager's perspective 
now you have all these star fund managers you see all around every day mm. and they give you very beautiful stories about what this company will do mm. right so so it's an art of storytelling you know based on some excel projections that they make that you know the the company will do this or company will do that even the company management sometimes don't know you know that these kind of projections are possible yeah. so so you are essentially living in a dream world when you when you project something out based on your analysis whereas in momentum investing what you're doing you are allowing the mass uh, you know knowledge and the and the price to to dictate what you're doing so let me give you a very uh, small example india mein bahut sare logo ko invest aur trade karke paisa to banana hai but a lot of them don't know the right way iski wajah se they rely on tips and advices from the wrong people और इसी सिचुएशन को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए हमने अपसर्च डॉट क्लब एज अ प्लेटफॉर्म बनाया है जहाँ पे हमारे पास 50 से भी ज़्यादा कोर्सेज हैं फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स जिनके पास सालों का एक्सपीरियंस है एज यू कैन सी हमारे सारे कोर्सेज काफ़ी अफोर्डेबल रेंजेस में हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल ज्योति बुद्धिया का ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग कोर्स हमारे पास सिर्फ रुपीज थ्री में अवेलेबल है इसमें हमारे पास छः घंटे का कॉन्टेंट है और मैम ने वो सारी चीज़ें कवर की है विच आर नेसेसरी फॉर यू टू बिकम एन ऑप्शन ट्रेडर अगर आप देखोगे तो फ्रॉम अ बिगनर लेवल टू एन एडवांस लेवल ट्रेडिंग और इन्वेस्टिंग के रिलेटेड हमारे पास बहुत सारे कोर्सेज अवेलेबल है इसी को और अफोर्डेबल बनाने के लिए हमने इन सभी कोर्सेज को हमारे सब्सक्रिप्शन मॉडल में भी इंक्लूड किया है आप ये सभी कोर्सेज को सिर्फ 2,999 थाउजेंड में एक्सेस कर सकते हो तो आज ही आप हमारी वेबसाइट चेकआउट कीजिए और अपनी ट्रेडिंग और इन्वेस्टिंग जर्नी को सही तरीके से शुरू कीजिए तो लेट मी गिव यू अ वेरी स्मॉल एग्जांपल। लेट्स से यू गो टू दी रेस कोर्स एंड यू नो यू यू आर बेटिंग ऑन हॉर्सेज देर नाउ ट्वेंटी हॉर्सेज लेट से स्टार्ट द रेस एंड आफ्टर द फर्स्ट राउंड लेट से फाइव हॉर्सेज आर अप इन द फ्रंट इन द फर्स्ट ग्रुप there are 10 horses in the middle and five at the back yeah. who will you bet on now will you bet on the fact that the the horse which is in the last position but he won the last race will oh. you bet on him right now or will you bet on this front five group that you know i know this 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 group is leading and one or two of these will be big winners out of this so i am betting on that group i am betting on the current situation that is presented to me i am not betting on the on the past laurels you know that that my my the horse that is currently last has won the derby five times and hence i am betting on that mm-hmm. you know so that is rear view mirror driving what is actually on ground in front of your eyes you are not willing to believe that but you are willing to believe what has been you know narrated in fine stories and 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 the past so this is just a small example so this is how for instance uh, you take nifty 50 stocks mm. and let's say i'm applying momentum investing to this now what i will do is i will select the fastest moving 10 stocks or 20 stocks out of this group okay and place my bets on them hmm and i leave the ra- the last 30 out so essentially in that horse race you are betting on the top 20 and leaving the the 30 behind then after one round and in this ca- case let's say after one month i'll review that portfolio again hmm and see that how many of those 20 that i selected are still in the front if some of them have fallen behind i'll let them go i'll chuck them out of my portfolio and the new ones who have come into this top 20 i'll buy them so oh. so in in essence i am i am betting on the top winners at any point of time and i am betting that some of these will do well some of them may not do well and <laughs> overall when i bet on the group i will make money so also to simplify this for you uh let's say i do 100 transactions in a year okay and only 50 i win and 50 i lose hmm hmm how will you call this i mean is this good investing not really not really right so that is the general reaction that i mean this is nothing great i mean it's like flipping a coin you're getting 50 right and you're getting 50 r- wrong so what is the big deal about it but the 50 i win uh get me let's say 20% uh of my bet each time mm. and the 50 i lose only lose 2% of my bet each time okay so every win that i do although it is 50 50 but every win is much bigger than every loss so i have very 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 small losses but large wins okay, okay. so when you combine this entire thing together you made good money 
right so it's a it's like the it's called the casino math so where you where you go and you know you're doing 100 times that slot machine and every time you lose a dollar but the every time you win you get 100 dollars so this is right. like so the pareto's principle as well right you make 20% of your 80% of your money from 20% of your portfolio yeah right? yeah so so we we essentially have in any momentum portfolio uh, about 10% stocks that will really hit a 6 okay uh 40% stocks will be like better than market 50% stocks may be just small losses around uh, market returns or below market returns mm. when you put them all together as a as a portfolio it makes money so that's where you know our uh, usual fail is that we we look at individual transaction as our uh, you know that each transaction should win but here you are saying i am looking at a portfolio and i am not worried about each transaction i am looking at as a whole group as the total this entire group has to make me money yeah and yeah. i am not worried about like for instance a lot of times when i do this and uh, you know stocks come uh, come to me out of my filter hmm. i don't even know what those companies do i mean sometimes yeah. those are new names to me hmm. you know and and what are they manufacturing and i have no clue and i don't care about it because for me the price and the volume action in that in that stock is telling me everything about it i don't need to know who's the who's the management what they are uh, uh, manufacturing what are the uh, plans for the future because the price encompasses everything mm -hmm. so that's the beauty of uh, momentum investing i don't know if uh, your users will be able to get a hang of uh, momentum investing basis this but the largely the idea is to keep your uh, to keep your ego and your 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 brain aside mm -hmm. and follow a set of rules and stick to those rules like a military like fashion right. you know exit is clear if if that price comes you have to exit if you if you if that if the price comes you have to buy uh, what you are buying has nothing to do with what the stock has done in the past for instance we bought suzlon or something at 10 15 rupees recently oh. it's gone to 40 rupees now if i were to have that baggage of the past that the stock was at 400 and it came to 10 rupees i would never be able to buy it yeah. you know that is a losing stock always but because you are seeing it from a fresh perspective that any stock could you know hit a 6 mm. uh so so essentially uh, i mean that's how you you go about it with the uh, set rules not having uh, any attachments to the uh, to the to these rules and and just it's just a very peaceful way of investing i mean no stress uh, once you are you get the hang of it and once you spent a year or two i mean you will forget about all other kinds of investing because there's nothing like this okay